are in an apartment or renting out or sorry, an apartment we're staying in during our vacation in Kyoto in Japan. Just decided to do a brief video of the ventilation around here. I'm not, I'm not gonna do a quick video of the lighting, but it's really good as well. Anyway, out here are the outlets of some of them for the exhaust fans that we've got inside that apartment. And there's some seemingly neat little ones. This is a cool place to see. I'm not going out right now. Some more new outlet things. Anyways, let's go inside. Let's see what the machine is. And what I have is actually Japanese coffee, but whatever. I would do a video when no one else is around, but the time is pretty, it's pretty much can't really have the time now. But anyways, in here we've got this vent which leads to some ducted fan somewhere. I actually took this vent off to clean it because it was really dirty. It's just a duct, there's no fan in there. The fan is somewhere in the ceiling or somewhere outside the apartment. And we have no control over the fan actually, it's some kind of central ventilation unit. And then here, we've got this Mitsubishi exhaust fan, I'm gonna make a video of that, and there are these weird cover, these weird plastic on it, I'm not sure what it's for, it could be to help reduce air movement, but I'm not sure. Okay! These are pre-fan bathrooms by the way. No, I like them actually. Yeah, eh, they don't look bad. They the amount of still here. Thank you, I've got the lottery gods fan. I'm sorry, Mitsubishi fan. Push the slot of those weird plastic covers. Keep these on all the time, actually. Over here. We've got this. Okay, we've got this. The camera standard. Bathroom. And over here we've got something interesting. In this little dark area we've got this trickle van. I've never seen these trickle vans before but I like them. I've heard about them but I've never seen them before. I actually like them because then you get a, a slight gap but not too much. Because you know, forest ventilation is sometimes is often better than natural ventilation so when it comes to like Especially when, especially when it has to do with, you know, when it's in a really cold or a really hot place because, yeah, you don't want too much drafts from like big windows and whatnot. But anyways, what you can do is you can have it open and some exhaust fans on in the back and if you have a good ventilation without the drafts, yeah. And also some over here or something, you yeah. also got something equally as unique. Got this little vent thing, which always goes in, 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 in an interesting way, actually. Close it this way. Open it this way. Ever since we came in here, like when we first went into the flat, this vent was closed, but since it's come in, it's been open since. It's not even closed. This one's this one is open actually. We actually only discovered these recently. Go outside. It's actually pretty cold out. It's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. But, then, but it's but indoors it's actually like 80 or 75 or 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's actually noticeably warmer indoors and outdoors. Here we've got the outside with this little vent. With a little vent. No fan, it's just a vent. Here it's bad we have a slip. Here we have apparently what appears to be the outlet of the bathroom. Flush with a condenser and another condenser. Uh, 
trying to find. Let's see here. So over here we've got more windows. This is not the light by the way, it's some kind of smoke detector. I wish there was a light in here, but whatever. Please got my flash. Over here we've got another shadow vent. This is the same as the other one. It was open when we first came in here. Right now it's closed and I just closed it for the video. And right now it's open again. And my bad, I forgot to show the outside to trigger vents. I don't need to show the outside of that one because it's gonna be identical to the outside of. Of this one. Over here. How close it is see if there's any difference in the view outside and out of the There's something about Trump and Clinton in the news, but whatever. Anyways, hey guys, have it. Thanks for watching.